In this problem, we have some whole numbers being multiplied by fractions, and we're being asked to not give the answer, but just tell whether this end result is going to be bigger than what you started with, or smaller, or equal to. And there's a rule operating here, and this is just for positive numbers. When we throw negative signs in here, it, it gets a little mixed up. But if you're dealing with positive numbers, if you multiply an, uh, by a number that's greater than 1, you're going to increase the product. I mean, that should make sense. If you multiply something by 2, the result is going to be bigger. If you multiply something by 1 and a half, the result is also bigger. But if you multiply by a fraction that's less than 1, like 1 half, multiplying 1 half is the same as dividing by 2. It makes things smaller. And of course, if you multiply by 1, everything stays the same because multiplying by 1 doesn't really do anything. So what we need to do here is look and see, is the fraction equal to 1 or less than 1 or greater than 1? We do that by comparing the numerator and the denominator. If the numerator is bigger than the denominator, as is the case here, 46 is bigger than 40, this is greater than 1. And that means the result here, 863 times this fraction, is going to be greater than 863 because we're multiplying it by something greater than 1. So we would check the product is greater than 863. In this next one, we have 157 times 45 over 45. Well, 45 over 45, that equals 1. So the answer here is just going to be 157. So the product is equal to 157. Now here, our numerator is less than the denominator. So this is less than 1. And when you multiply something by a fraction less than 1, it's going to decrease. So the product will be less than 613. So that's a little bit of work uh, in how multiplying by fractions that are greater than 1 or less than 1 or equal to 1 affect a product.